Hey, so this video is for people who want to hear a little bit more about my professional background, my qualifications, why I feel like it's okay for me to talk about this stuff. You're lucky I'm an easy person to look up online. I've got a unique name. So anything you want to verify about this, it's easy to do. If you want to go on Google Scholar, which is not like the regular internet, it's indexed peer review publications, you can see I'm the only Emily Sherding in town and that I've done a decade worth of research on how to communicate scientific concepts to the general public. That's what I do. I develop research-based techniques for ways to talk to people of all different ages and backgrounds to help the light turn on for them, to help science speak for them. I feel like science should be a tool that's in your hand, and I've put a lot of work into putting it there. If you want to look, though, at why I feel confident communicating about complex scientific concepts, my background is in like uh, comic book super science stuff, basically. I used to be on NASA's payroll. This is my maiden name, Emily Richter. There are more Emily Richters out there, but here's the link. You can see this is my dissertation, actually, this book, Emily Richter, Effective Vocabulary, an Introductory Microbiology Instruction. This um, is the connecting line that hopefully gives you some uh, validation towards my uh, work under my current name. And you can see some of my publications were with a very influential lab, the Nickerson Lab, where we were able to be part of the space shuttle program. If you want to see here is some of my NASA abelia. It was in the Nickerson Lab there with Project Microbe when I was at ASU, collaboration with Tulane. And here is my ID from 20 years ago. You can see I look exactly the same where I was able to access the NASA bio facilities. So... You know, that space launch, the, the shuttle launch experience was a very formative experience for me. Not because it was unexciting. Of course, it's exciting to watch a rocket go up. But it was a moment where I really had to be honest with myself that I found moments of human connection to be much more exciting for me. That what really does it for me is when I can help people turn the light on. So I kept working on that. You know, I developed research-based techniques for communicating science to the general public. I got to write a book about it. I got to serve on national committees. I won awards. I got a whole box of stuff here, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> and what has really mattered to me though are those opportunities when I get to help people turn the light on. Since 2014, I've been increasingly interested in climate. I started doing climate education at a time when a lot of the messaging in professional circles was that people are not smart enough to get it. And they don't really wanna learn about it anyway. I didn't believe that was true. I have a working class background. I grew up around working class people. I know only a moron would think working class people are dumb. Some people, they wanna believe that they're on top because they're inherently better than everyone else. And I can tell you I have not found that to be the case. When I started doing outreach work on climate, I found that regular people, people all across all kinds of American communities absolutely wanna explore these topics. And we absolutely are smart enough to understand what's going on. We all need to understand the changes that are coming. Our government has spent millions and millions of dollars on this research, but not a lot of money communicating this information to you because this information is worth money. People sell the information that I'm trying to give away on this channel, but your tax dollars paid for this information and you deserve access. I know you can understand our most likely future. I'm doing my best to get you the information on our climate outlook that you need to make decisions about your life in a way that you can understand. I wanna give back to you. This is the best way I know how. I wanna share with you what we know about our climate future because you need to understand the changes that are coming. It's time to get ready.